Hey and welcome, this is Joe with Quad Specs, and today we're going to show you how to bind the Tyrannus QX7 with the Ishin E010 and E011. If you have one of these two drones and you've flown around a bit with the uh, stock transmitter, you know just how dreadful they are. And hopefully, if you have the Tyrannus QX7, we can show you how to never use those tiny little remotes again. The module that we're using for this tutorial is from Banggood.com. If you just search multi-protocol on their main page, you'll see the first result that comes up is the, uh, the module we used. It is less than $9 if you get it shipped from directly from China. And if you want to get it from the U.S. and get it shipped a little quicker, it's right at $14. So it's still a pretty reasonable price uh, for being able to get rid of those, those tiny little stock remotes. So to begin the process, we'll need to create a new model in the QX7 software, and we will call this one the stock E010 to differentiate it from the uh, E010 that we have that has the B-Core flight controller, since this will just be the stock flight controller. Once the model name's been set, you can scroll down to the internal mode where we will change that setting to off since we won't be using the QX7 transmitter. And then we'll actually go into the external um, RF mode and change that to PPM and we'll be using channel range 1 through 12. And if you go to the product page for this module, you'll see that there is a PDF that'll take you through these instructions, but we'll show you step by step uh, just to help you through the process. So the manual says that the mixer needs to be set to the order of uh, AETR, so aileron, elevation, throttle, and rudder. And that's what we're changing here. To make a change to one of the channels in the mixer, uh, it's just a long press on the select button, and then once you're in, you can go to the source and do a short press and then scroll through the options uh, to change that to the correct order. So this is what the final mixer setup should look like and you should be ready for the next step. Now that the software has been set up, it's time to install the module on the back of the transmitter. So there are five pins that come out of the QX7 and on the module there is a female five pin adapter. So the installation is straightforward and fairly simple. All it is is pushing the adapter onto those five pins and you're good to go. And you'll want to leave the cover off at this stage because once we power up the transmitter, we're going to want to make sure that the lights turn on and that everything with the module is working correctly. So to do this test, we will turn on the Tyrannus QX7 and you'll have to make sure that the correct model number was set when you turned it off. So when you turn it on, you can see we have the stock E010, which is the correct one, and we have it on PPM mode. So you turn over the transmitter and you should notice that the green light on the module is lit up. So that tells you that everything's working correctly and your settings are appropriate for this model. So we'll put the cover back on to protect it from ever getting bumped. And now we're ready to bind the E010. We've powered up the drone and the transmitter is turned off. So both the sticks need to be in the lower right corner when you turn on the transmitter. So you want to clear any warnings and you notice that the light turned solid, it was blinking before it was ready to bind and all systems are a go. To set up the E011, the setup in the software is absolutely identical so all we're going to do is go through and change the model name to stock E011 just to make things clear. Again, we'll start with the transmitter off, but this time we'll put the right stick in the top right corner and we'll leave the throttle in the neutral position when we turn on the transmitter. And you'll see that the E011 lights uh, move to a rapid blink instead of the slow blink. And you'll test the throttle, and that is an indication that the binding process was successful. That is it for this tutorial. We hope it was helpful. Please comment below with any questions. And be sure to subscribe for more videos like this, and thanks for watching.